The fundamental issue today is that industry lacks the solutions it needs to address waste. If you look at things like a cement plant, for instance, 60% of all energy put into that process is lost. And then when you imagine a planetary scale, this is a tremendous waste of energy that's going to have an impact for generations beyond us. We have to be doing things to change those impacts. I'm Kelly Adams, CEO of ATS, and I'm going to show you how we convert industrial waste heat directly into electricity in some of the hardest to abate sectors in industry. ATS started life as a solar company. Late one night, someone turned off the lights at the end of the day. And we come back early in the morning and to our surprise, we had discovered that we had produced electricity without the presence of light. Excited. Shock. I was absolutely stunned. Something that can turn heat, which is everywhere in every instance, into usable clean electricity is just mind blowing. You know, this is a real opportunity to make a difference. 60% of industrial heat is wasted. In these hard to abate industries, heat is a key input for process. This technology could be on every cement plant, it could be at every steel plant, but we had to look at how it would work inside of an industrial process in things like heat exchangers. So we got to work. We start by turning semiconductor powder into a wafer. This wafer is then cut up and turned into a whole array of pellets. Which are bismuth telluride. And these are actually the engine of the systems. Put hot on one side and cold on the other, electrons start to flow, which creates a current. That makes your electricity through the device. It's similar to a solar panel, instead of light, we're using heat. We actually daisy chain all these cartridges together to boost the potential and actually get all the energy out we can from the waste heat process. A lot of the industrial clients that we deal with have exposure to turbine technologies for heat to power. It's a large rotating piece of equipment that's extremely complex. The amount of infrastructure we have to put around that and the skill sets required to operate that create a very large challenge for adoption. And so what we're presenting to industry is a simplified, easy to operate, no moving parts technology that does the work of that turbine. And we could just put these in a shipping container, drop them off at a customer site, hook them up, instead of having all that waste heat go up in the air, use it for good. When we deployed the unit on site, we had an extensive control system that was monitoring the performance and showing us the results. And we had people from different countries watching live as we were demonstrating the unit. And the unit performed better than we'd anticipated and nearly doubled its output. This was the first time we'd scaled something to this size in solid state heat to power technology and deployed it in a cement plant in one of the harshest environments in the world. And when we walked into the energy production unit, what we witnessed is a silent, no vibration, very little heat emission, quietly making power. And we all felt like we, <laughs> we had been in a time machine and we were literally looking at the future right before us. It was amazing to witness. We've been trained to contemplate heat as single use. And so what this allows us to do is re-examine that whole mindset and think about what a plant would look like if it was completely thermally closed loop and how efficient that could be and what it could do for society to go from this small little piece of technology to a global impact just seems impossible, but here we are doing it. Anywhere there's heat, we can eventually find a solution for it with our technology. We poured our heart and souls into this. And all of us feel a deep sense of responsibility to deliver this technology to industry and society and the planet. And that's a goal.